Hi there, welcome to chandu.org. Today we are going to take up a question one of the readers sent to me in email. The question they have asked is, they have some data in Excel in a table format for various records and they would like to calculate conversion ratio using pivot table calculated items feature. Now unless you look at the data it might be difficult for you to imagine what this is. So let us just jump into Excel and see what this problem is. So the data that our user has is something similar to what you have seen here. What you are seeing here. We have ID in a column and then we have location and status. So we have uh, for e each ID signifies that in a certain location something has happened. Whether it is a book status or a pending item or a lost item. You could think of these as sales opportunities or you know web page visits or uh, service opportunities or any of those things. The data is typically like this when you are looking at sales pipeline. Uh, you have a contact, uh, you have a unique identifier and then you have a contact or a customer, client or a web page or whatever may be the case. And then the status of that particular line item. For example, you visit a customer, the customer purchases, then it would be booked. You visit a customer and the customer says, uh, this sounds good, but I think we will have to revisit it. That's probably pending. And then uh, if the customer outlet rejects your proposal, then that's lost. So you could think of this as a typical sales pipeline or a web page conversion pipeline or whatever it could be. Once you have this data, if I want, if you want to calculate by each location what percentage of visits are converting, what percentage of items are converting, then uh, it kind of gets very tricky. You could of course write a formula, for example, uh, those of you who are seasoned with Excel would know that a formula like, uh, you know, uh, count if would tell me how many items are there for a location. So you could say count if uh, uh, I have created this as a table so I will write something like enqs that is the table name uh, count if how many IDs are there uh, sorry how many locations are there where the location number is uh, location 5 right. when you press enter you will know that there are five five total five line items corresponding to location 5 okay now the conversion ratio for that would be First, you calculate how many are booked. That could be done with uh, another formula called countifs, which will tell me enqs uh, location is location 5. And then status should be status should be booked. Okay. So now you know that out of 5, 1 is booked. So the conversion ratio is nothing but uh, 1 divided by 5. Uh, 0.2 or 20 percent when you format it as percentage. Now this is just for one location. Imagine doing this for 10 locations or 25 or 300 web pages or whatever. Writing the formulas and making sure they are doing perfectly the way you want is a bit tedious, right? So and you can hear the background music by Gecko who lives outside the office window. Okay, so uh, the easier option would be to create a pivot table and then uh, put locations on the rows and status on the column and then you can see the breakup by individual status per location and then if only there is a way to calculate the percentage of conversions that can be done i will show you how first let me just unhide the column so that i can show you the pivot table so this is a pivot table that i have constructed this is a regular Excel power pivot table, not a power pivot or any of those things. So you have these three items that is booked, lost and pending and then a conversion percentage at the end. How does this actually work? What is the conversion percentage? Well, if you look at it very carefully, when I select something in the conversion for uh, in the booked or lost or pending columns, you don't see anything. But when I select this, you can see that there is a formula, right? So pivot table can have a formula. What is going on here? Well, this type of formula is called as a calculated item. This is a new item that we are calculating for the column, uh, for the status item here, for the status field that is calculated by taking the booked value and dividing it with the total value for booked plus lost plus pending. That is the total value divided by booked. 
so that will give you a percentage how to set this up well very simple let me just show you the steps by going through pivot options and turning on the field field list so it looks like a regular pivot table now and to set up a calculated item on a particular uh, for example on the status we would like to add an extra item called conversion percentage so you would have to select something first add status here and then select an item within the status here once that selection is done from pivot table options go to calculations area fields items and sets and select calculated item and then type the name as you want and give the formula the formula should have just the items that are mentioned here so book divided by book plus lost plus pending remember when you are setting up a calculated item in status you can only use the sub items in the status field only you cannot use anything else okay so this is a limitation once you set this up the item will be available for you here so you can see conversion percentage you can see booked lost and pending and 67 percent convert okay so this is how the calculated item works some of you might be wondering chendu when i add the calculation item i get here as 0 0.66667 instead of 67 percentage when you try to format this as a percentage everything here also goes as percentage so how to fix that well i kind of used a bit of uh, excel trickery if you will uh, and kind of cheated excel to show one column in a different format compared to rest in reality this is not how power pivot tables behave but i have kind of done it let me show that to you right click on any of these items and then go to value field settings and click on number format now if you want to format everything as a percentage you would select percent or number the situation here is that we would like to let me just uh, move these things away we would like to show the numbers as numbers and only the conversion percentage as percentage well how do we know how which is percentage and which is number well we don't but we do know that conversion percentages are always a number from 0 to 1 and the number values are something greater than or equal to 1 so I have set up a custom formatting rule that goes something like this if it is greater than or equal to 1 format it as a number 0 if it is less than 1 0 percentage if it is anything else that is blank or 0 value or something else then just show empty space so with that custom rule Excel would show these as numbers and that as percentage but you would realize that when you select any of those numbers in the formula bar you could actually see that everything is formatted as a percentage this depends on what is the basic formatting that you have selected for the pivot table okay so this is good but this is not 100 percent what a typical manager would look like uh, would want for example a manager would want what are the total items what is booked and what is conversion percentage something like this total is 3 booked is 2 conversion is 67 percentage so how do you do this kind of pivot table well you cannot really do this with regular pivot tables but you can use power pivot to do that i will quickly show you what kind of calculations we have done in power pivot the power pivot for this is generated from the same data using a linked table technique and now that the item power pivot is there i have added three measures first measure is called total items let me just uh, right click on that edit formula so you can see this total items is nothing but count a of enquiries id that means how many items are there in the id column for that okay that's that booked items is another measure that has the formula calculate total items where status is booked you could think of calculate total items inquiry status is booked as a version of count if formula well it is slightly more powerful and very very versatile and it, it has so many more capabilities but the calculate formula is uh, your version of count if sum if max if min if everything together okay so calculate because the total items measure is a count formula this becomes a count if if the total items is a min or max or sum or average then accordingly calculate would become min if max if count sum if average if like that 
So calculate of total items, enquiry status is booked. This will give me a calculation corresponding to only booked items. How many booked items are there? So that would be that. Now the percentage calculation for conversion is even more simpler. It is just booked items divided by total items. And then here the formatting is number formatted as a percentage. Whereas for the booked items and uh, cal total items, it is number formatted as a decimal number. So because of that, the formatting kicks in through measure formatting and you would get a nice looking table like this. The advantage of power pivot is it will calculate correctly even at the grand total level. Whereas in a regular pivot table, if I enable grand totals, you would see some meaningless data here. Conversion percentage is 2. What does it even mean? Nobody has any idea, right? And grand total for the row items is also messed up. It tells me that the grand total is 4, whereas you could clearly see that there are only 3. Book is 2, pending is 1. Conversion should not be added when calculating grand, grand total. But Excel is doing that because you have added a calculated item. So even that calculated item would be included when grand total is being calculated. So this is why uh, calculated items, although they are very powerful, they are also very limited and kind of annoying beyond a certain point. So those of you who want to do some serious analysis with Excel, I would encourage you to consider installing Power Pivot and learning how to use it. We have several good examples on chendu.org on Power Pivot and Pivot Tables. You could also visit uh, Rob Colley's website powerpivotpro.com or get one of his books. I think he has only one book, but the other one is coming pretty soon. So get either one of them or uh, you could also enroll in our Power Pivot class, which will be reopening in July this year. Well, I don't want to sell something that is not ready for sale right now. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed this little lesson and I hope you have learned how to set up a calculated item as well as how to use Power Pivot to do the calculations. Those of you who are not at uh, not yet using Power Pivot, let me quickly remind you that when you are setting up a calculated item in a regular pivot table, you must first add the item, uh, the field to column or row level and then select one of the items here or here before you proceed with inserting a calculated item. Once you select only then this will be enabled. If you select a value, you would notice that the calculated item thing is grayed out. So you cannot select that. If you select a location and go to calculated item, you would be inserting a calculated item in the location field, right? So this is a this is something that you need to keep in mind where you are inserting and what happens when you insert it. So with that, I will stop this lesson. I hope you have enjoyed this little video. If you like it, go ahead and visit chendu.org. You could uh, click on the little box so that you can access our website where there's so much more material on pivot tables, Excel techniques and advanced Excel uses. I wish you a great day ahead. Bye-bye.